Hi there, I'm John from cncra.com and today we make a huge stencil. So although the stencil behind me might not look that big, it's actually a small part of a larger one. It's actually four pieces, four foot by four foot, four foot. Therefore you end up with an eight foot square stencil. Now obviously you can't get material that size, although technically I could laminate it here in the shop and make it that big, but my router, the limitation is five feet by 10 feet. So you still end up with the same limitation and something that's eight feet square is a real big pain to ship. It's, it's very prone to breaking, especially at something so thin. So the best way forward was actually to split up the stencil into four pieces. In this case here, we use quarter inch material. So whether I'm making a very large stencil as you see here, or a very small one using polycarbonate, material doesn't really matter. What you have to always keep in mind is that at the end of the day, this is a stencil and there's inside parts and they're gonna fall out. And that's why you definitely need support material. Now, the larger the stencil, the thicker the support material needs to be. So let's say I was making this, instead of eight feet by eight feet, this stencil is gonna be eight inches by eight inches. Well, then I can get away with a lot thinner uh, support material than this size here, just because of the weight of the material. Also, the, the material choice also affects the thickness of the support material. So let's say you needed uh, eight foot by eight foot stencil like this here, but you needed uh, the supports to be under an eighth, maybe one sixteenth metal, you would have been okay. Uh, with this here is MDF quarter inch, uh, you're not okay. You need to go a lot thicker. So there's a lot of little variables you have to keep in mind when it comes to stencils. Now for this application here, it's a one-time application. I would have preferred to use, to actually make this using metal. And the reason for that is because you have some parts here, you can see, that are rather thin. And I, I didn't want to use material that was too large or too heavy to bring to the customer. Um, and again, one-time use is sort of takes away the point of making that out of metal. Um, if it was going to be used for a couple months or whatever, uh, metal would have been by far the best choice. And you got to keep in mind that you want a stencil that's strong. So if you're lifting something off the floor and it has lots of very intricate and small parts, uh, definitely go with something that's too strong rather than not strong enough. Because what happens is you lift this up here and some parts stay there and there's just enough stress in the material to rip it apart. In this case here, this is fine for the application that it's given. So if you're looking for custom stencils, any size, any shape, any material, contact me at cncr.com. We'll make it for you and ship it right to your door.